There's another way that you can use the keyboard class which is more appropriate for classes and objects. And I'm going to go into my key, my code here and we can make a new object. So our new object is going to be of type keyboard. I'm going to say keyboard input object so you, we're really clear what that is. And we'll put the keyboard class code using the constructor, we'll put that up in memory. So what we've done is we've taken the code that is in keyboard, all of this code here, and with the constructor object we moved it up into memory and put the memory address in here. So now instead of calling the class directly, which isn't normally good form, we use our object and the method that's in that object. Now the advantage of this is we can make several keyboard type objects and then we can customize each of those objects. In this example that isn't necessary but that's why we go through this extra step of making a copy in memory, calling it an object. We can usually customize that object and then use that object with its methods. And now if I run it, type in a price, and see that it works the same. Ah, but we have an error here, so I'm going to mouse over and it says the static method read float from the type keyboard should be accessed in a static way. Well, what that means is notice here that our main method has the keyword static in it. That means, that tells Java that there's going to be one copy of this method. And if we look in our keyboard class, we can see that indeed each method has static in it, which means there's only going to be one copy. And when we do this standard way of making new objects, we can make several new objects. So that would result in several copies of read float, which goes against the static keyword. So to use this properly in the form that I'm demonstrating here, we would have to take this static keyword out of all of these methods so we could have multiple copies and make multiple objects from that class.